I'm back in exec mode. Can you tell, or at least have an educated guess as to whether I'm in user exec mode or privilege exec mode? Well, I'm most likely in privilege exec mode because I have a pound sign for a prompt and I can verify that with a show privilege. And I'm in level 15. So there's two ways that I can get back into user exec mode. I could type exit, which would exit me from the router and put me on back onto the console line. I'd have to hit enter and then I'd be in that way. Or you can do it a couple other ways. You can use a command that's the opposite of enable, which is disable. And disable will move you from whatever level you're in, privilege level, to privilege level one. And I can verify that. We see the prompt has changed, so we're either in privilege level 1 or 0 and I could verify that I'm in privilege level 1 or if you specify a number after the enable command that will put you in that specific privilege level so if I would have said enable space 1 then I would have got put into privilege level 1 which is user exec mode anywho here we are so now let's go back into privilege exec mode so I type enable and remember last time there was no enable password set so I just hit enter and I got in this time I have a little bit of security here so if I type in you know just random characters I won't see the characters I won't see what happened it just did not obviously take my password so if I do this three times by default it's gonna give me bad passwords so I don't know the enable password so if you get some goofball that's not supposed to be on the router this gives you a little bit of security to prevent him from getting into pri privilege exec mode where he can do a bunch of damage so now let's do enable and I will type in packet lab so now we see my prompt has changed obviously it took the password because it didn't prompt me again for the password so if I show privilege what do you think I'm gonna see privilege level 15 sweet I am in privileged exec mode and from here we can go ahead and issue the question mark and remember how many commands we had in user exec mode it was it was a page or so here we've got just butt loads and I believe that is a technical term is butt loads so we have every possible exec command available to us and you can see there's quite a bit and each of these commands generally has more arguments so if you even do like show I don't want to do a whole lot on Cisco IOS help but that's another quickie here is that if you type in a command you know the whole command type in the command space and then hit question mark it will give you all the arguments for that command so even just the show commands there's like I said a buttload of them so we have a we have every command available and most importantly we as we saw earlier can get into configure terminal mode and here we will end to get back into exec privilege mode we can also reload I'm not going to reload let me do this just to show you that it's available we can reload the the router which we couldn't do in user exec mode I'm not going to do that because I'm on an emulated router and it doesn't handle the reload command very well alright so let's see our configuration mode so configuration conf t is what you're generally going to use it's a shortcut as long as Cisco IOS has enough letters to differentiate this command from any other so C couldn't just type C because there's a whole bunch of commands that start with C CO there's probably a couple there uh, CON yeah, so you couldn't type CON because it wouldn't know whether it was configure or connect but if you type CONF you see there's only one word so at this point you can either use the tab key again I don't want to turn this into a using the Cisco IOS but you can use the tab key that will auto complete your command because it knows there's only one possible command it can be and then with terminal that's the only T option so you could hit T here a lot of times you will see engineers just use the minimal amount of letters to initialize a command in this case it's conf t and you'll hear it referred to as conf t too so now we are in configuration mode and we know this by the change of our prompt as well as the welcome to configuration mode and this is global configuration mode so if we issue question mark for ios help we can see we get a bunch of commands but they look a lot different than the commands we saw in exec mode so here we can you know configure stuff like apple talk uh, we can configure a banner all kinds of stuff boot system there's a grip of things the clock all this stuff that we can configure from this mode this is the dangerous part this can be where you make a career <laughs> limiting decision because when you configure something and I'll do the same example I did on the slides uh, my new host name when you configure a valid command and you hit enter it executes that right away so now you've just changed the name of your router 
and that may not be a big thing. Just keep in mind that changes are instantaneous. So I just changed it back to R1 here. And let's actually issue that again. Um, by default, you can use the up arrow to go through the history commands. What I want to show you here is I've got a valid command, which is host name, my new host name. And I want to show you the difference between control Z and control C. So I'll use a control Z, which will break me out of configuration mode and put me back into privilege exec mode. But do you remember from the slides what's going to happen here? That's right, it's going to actually apply this configuration. So if I hit Control Z, I see the uh, caret and the capital Z. I see that I am in no longer in configuration mode because I don't see config in parentheses, but I also see that I have a new host name. So it broke me out, but it accepted this command. So comp t get back in there, and I will go ahead and set my host name back to R1 implemented instantly so now we're, we've changed our, our screw up let's go ahead up arrow again this is just saving me typing in this case I'm going to hit control C you're gonna have to take my word for it because there will be no visual confirmation that I've done this now the same thing happened I got booted out of configuration mode and into privilege exec mode but you can see my my host name didn't change that's because it did not take this command control Z is basically two functions a carriage return which then applies this configuration and then an end statement which will get you out of configuration mode regardless of which sub mode you're in. So we saw that on the on the uh, slides I just want to show you in action. So now the last thing we want to look at here is our interface configuration mode. In this case interface serial 0 slash 0 I believe is configured on here. So the thing that you want to do is you're in global configuration mode you want to specify the interface that you want to configure hit enter and now we can see that our prompt has changed. We've gone from just config within the parentheses to config IF, and IF stands for interface. And as you get into various submodes, you might be in an access list submode, you might be in a class map submode. There's all kinds of them. Some of them you'll never even use in your entire life. This prompt will change, and it will change, like I said, here it's IF. I don't remember what, I think ah, access list is ACL, I can't remember. But you will get visual confirmation that you're in a different sub mode. And the nice thing is, is it also acts as like a tabbing feature. So in this case, I am going to just type a description, hello world. I hit enter. So now that has configured a description under the serial interface. And one other thing while we're here, just hit question mark and the commands. You can see there's quite a few commands, but they're different than the ones that we saw in global configuration mode. So each sub mode has a set of commands that are available to it. So now I want to get out of here and get into privilege level exec mode. Can you tell me, there's actually four different ways to do this, can you tell me at least one way to do this? Let's, let's make it even more difficult, slightly. Can you tell me a way that I only have to type one command <laughs> to do this? Yeah, and you could type the shortcuts of control Z or control C, we saw those. Uh, from here we can also just type end. And end will get us out to privileged exec mode. One more quick thing is to be complete. Uh, just quickly got into configuration mode, then into interface configuration mode. Uh, exit will work. Like I told you exit will actually take you back a configuration mode. So if I hit exit here, I will actually go back to global configuration mode. And we can see that by the prompt. If I hit exit again, if you issue exit from global configuration mode, you will go back to privileged exec mode. And just to drive home the fact that configurations do take place as soon as you hit enter, if I do a show interface 00 slash 0, I'm using shortcuts. See this bit right here? That's the description that we configured under the interface. So as soon as we hit enter there, it went to the uh, running configuration and it is now active on the router. Again, a, a description isn't going to do a whole lot of damage. Just when you're in configuration mode, be sure you know what you're doing because you can really screw it up and you can also end your career.